Hello. Okay, if you want to use uh, RDK GPS to get centimeter level GPS, and you're in Australia, or anywhere really, um, lots of countries have these cause networks, just check out your cause network, find a map, and see if you're within, um, well, see if you're within 50 kilometers. The receiver I'm using, the F9P, works within 50. I've tested that. Haven't tested further. Uh, I'm going to be using one 25 kilometers from a base station, but yeah, just see if you just go to this website if you're in Australia or find your own in your country and uh, zoom in and, and just see how far away you are. Um, and once you've done that, and if you have mobile coverage, go to this website and register for an account. They'll send you a password. And then in your client, either in new center or um, ag open GPS, you'll be able to put in the um, I, um, URL, uh, that URL, you can get that on the, the ga.gov.au site that I was on a second ago, and uh, put in your username and password, and it will... Um, It'll, it'll use that correction for your RTK. And here is where you add the, uh, put in the uh, username and password in uCenter. So when you're configuring the GPS receiver, just chuck it in there. And in this situation, you don't need a base station. You don't need your own. Uh, you can just have your use your mobile network coverage and this. Alternatively, if you don't have mobile network network coverage or if you're too far away uh, from a base station, then you, yeah, you'll have to get your own um, a second GPS receiver and your own local radio link. And if you're in Queensland or something, I guess, I guess you may just have to do that. It's unfortunate. Or go to John Deere or Trimble or I don't know, some, somewhere where you have to pay a lot of money to um, receive the information anyway. Or the other thing that Australia is doing, that uh, GSR Australia is doing, is a SBAS system, satellite-based satellite, satellite -based, uh, system. But apparently it's, it's coming on in a couple of years. And um, while the precision, precision is going to be like 10 centimetres, um, and which is probably good enough, like tight, like fine. Um, RTK is still going to be a bit better. It's going to be like two centimeters. So anyway. Okay, here's Ag Open GPS. To the RTK fix at 10 hertz, so 10 times a second. And it's just using the, the Ardu Simple, unless the antenna. GPS, where is it? This one down there. Um, if the F9P, uh, that's 500 bucks Australian delivered. 300 euros or something. Oh, that's not good for it. You can see once it does that, um, float's gone down to, well, it's gone down to float, but it's still updating every 10 seconds. Just had to drive around with a fake boom. And uh, yeah, looks like it works really well. I guess I can try to do it again. It's very difficult holding a tablet, phone, and riding a bike, and filming at the same time. Whoop, but you can see, whoa. <laughs> you see why that's a real bad idea. But um, as long as I haven't broken my USB port. Oh yep, look. Still got at least float GPS. But you can see as soon as the boom left the area there, um, yeah, it would have switched back on. That's sweet. Okay, while I'm here, I'll uh, show you how to set it up using new center. So just USB plugged in, obviously. I got new center. Now, the problem I had was um, I couldn't send a configuration file. Normally, you can just send a 
config file and they're available from uh, the website and people have made their own but mine just uh, won't work um, just can't do it so you can see I'm connected uh, down here on com6 normally you go to receiver connection just choose which one that the new one that pops up um, and I'm not seeing any info because I've disabled oh actually I am I don't know don't know why I'm seeing info but I've disabled the UBX messages um, on the output so it'll run faster <coughs> I'll just quickly I'll show you how to re-enable them uh, but anyway my point was I could not go here go tools receiver config I can't can't send that one I mean um, which one's that I'll try to send this one uh, and on the Ardu simple ones, I want you to use uh, generation eight. It's working now. That's crazy, man. I know. But see, summer timing out. It's not one hundred percent working. Hmm. Odd. I think it's. I've. I was overloading my receiver or something because. To get it to go 10 hertz in Ag Open GPS, I disabled the UBX messages and then it, then it worked properly. So I'm still getting timeouts. So I'm partially sending the configuration file over, which, you know, that's not really good for me. I don't know what, what the hell it's doing. I figured out how to do most of it manually anyway. So, but the cool thing is, um, this won't save until you actually send a command to save it to flash. So yes, yeah, there's the errors. Um, so what I'll do, I can just unplug it. So you see, these are the, this is normal info you'd get. Um, and you can send more mess, um, configuration changes um, to get more even more info there. But I'll unplug it for now. And then plug it back in. And it'll revert to whatever configuration was on flash. Take a little while to uh, kick in again, and I shouldn't be getting as much info. No, it hasn't. It's bloody. See, oh, it's gone back to a partial configuration. What a pain. Okay, that partial config file messed with everything. Everything. So I just went back to defaults. Well, I no longer had G, um, RTK fix. Uh, oh, I need to connect to it. So I'll close Ag Open GPS. See, now I've got RTK fix, 10 hertz, 9 hertz, whatever. I'll show you how I got that. And thanks to Sid Jacker on the Ag Open GPS forum, pointed out how to disable NEMA messages. Um, or which ones to disable anyway. So you just go, well, got to connect first. And even though I'm not connected, it's still, the GPS has got the um, corrections from the Ntrip client and Ag Open GPS, which is interesting anyway. So you go view, once you're connected, messages, all the way down the bottom, okay, UBX, uh, config. If you go to config, this is where you can, um, you just, you've got flash here. Um, you can just click revert to default config and send that one and uh, you sort of get a clean slate and then what I changed was I went to rate initially that's on like a thousand milliseconds um, so you leave that while you're changing settings and stuff and I don't know if you need to do this but I went through all the different ports I2C and um, USB because on this one it it's actually USB is coming out on UART1. So anyway, all the other ones, I just disabled all the protocols in and out. So it's taken up less, you know, resources, I guess. That may not be necessary, but it's working at the moment. So this, you just click on messages, and this is where you can disable all these messages you don't need. By getting rid of, as suggested on the forum, GSV, unticking all those, and then... GSA, untick all those, obviously send them, and going down to rate, 
decreasing that to 100 uh, and sending that and that's pretty much it uh, once you do that you can um, oh you got to save the config obviously go to config and save it send that one actually I'll just yeah it should be saved whatever I'm not sure if I did that yet close it and now in Agro Open GPS you'll get your RTK if you got this info in you connect it to the internet whatever there we go 